Great news mga kabayan! Nabalitaan nyo na ba ang announcement ng WHO at kanilang declaration kung hindi pa panoorin nyo po ang video ito? At syempre, to follow the declaration, magkoconvin po ang DOH sa ating COVID-19 Task Force. Find out more information about this great news. Magandang araw sa inyong lahat mga kabayan and welcome to another episode of Balita para sa iyo aking mga kabayan. Kayo po'y nanonood ng Jamie Iris Talk TV kung saan kayo'y aking dinadalhan ng mga balita regarding travel guidelines, protocols at mga tutorials at in the coming weeks and months, magkakaroon na rin po tayo ng mga videos about lifestyle, career, business at buhay OFW. So, what are you waiting for? Click nyo na po yung subscribe button at notification bell. And to all our subscribers, welcome back. Nabalitaan nyo na po ba mga kabayan ang great news? Ang WHO or World Health Organization declared that COVID-19 is no longer a global health emergency. Yay! It's so great to know that it simply means that Mag-antabay po tayo ng mga different travel protocols and guidelines na mas maaring lesser ang restrictions, especially kung mababa naman ang COVID-19 cases sa mga lugar na yon. So, pakinggan pa po natin what did they have to consider. Sinabi po ng WHO na bagamat they declared that the COVID-19 is no longer a global health concerns or emergency, kinakailangan pa rin po na mag-ingat dahil ang COVID-19 virus still poses a significant health risk sa ilang bansa, kagaya ng Africa. Sinasabi po ng mga eksperto na ang maraming tao ay maaring hindi na po kinakailangan mag suot ng face mask pero iintahin po natin yung official announcement sa kanya-kanyang mga bansa o gobyerno pero syempre maaring irekomenda pa rin po sa mga immunocompromised individuals na magmask for their own safety ito po ay according to the medicalnewstoday.com sinabi din po na ang desisyon na i-end or wakasan na ang emergency status came after a meeting of the WHO's International Health Regulations Emergency Committee last May 4, 2023. Sinabi po ni Dr. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, the, H, the WHO Director General at binanggit niya po na ang pandemic has been declining for over a year now. Bumababa na po ito. At samantalang tumataas naman po ang immunity throughout the world sa pamamagitan po ng COVID-19 vaccination. At ang dating infection ay bumaba na din po ang mortality rates o ang rate at number ng mga taong pumapanaw dahil sa virus na ito. At dahil dito, nabawasan na rin po ang pressure sa healthcare systems. At dahil sa announcement ng WHO na dinaklara na po nila ang COVID-19 is no longer a global health emergency, ang ating Department of Health will then review health guidelines after this declaration. Sinabi po yan ng gmanetwork.com. At gayon din po, ang Department of Health ay wini-welcome po nila yung proclamation ng WHO regarding the lifting of the public health emergency of International Concern or PHEIC about COVID-19. Ang Emergency Committee para sa buong mundo actually Just like what I've mentioned, they actually met last May 4 at ito po yung pinost nilang recommendation. The move, DOH said, is actually a reflection of effective and collaborative efforts para mas masugpo pa po ang 
disease na ito at para syempre to jumpstart the economy o pasiglahin muli ang mga ekonomiya ng bansa, particularly ng Pilipinas. Now, there is still work to be done, though the agency actually added. Ang DOH then po will convene the members of IATF or Interagency Task Force for Emerging Infectious Diseases to discuss and reassess ang mga polisiya na meron po tayo ngayon sa bansa. Other guidelines affected by the declaration at mga travelers, that simply means that kasama po ang mga travel entry protocols at departure protocols mula sa bansa kaya aabangan po natin yan so keep watching Sinabi rin po ng DOH na hindi po nabanggit ang detalye ng kanilang plans regarding the implementation of the COVID-19 protocols as of the time that we got the news from them Now magkakaroon din po ng independent monitoring ang grupo ng OCTA at sa kanilang monitoring in the past days, katulad ng iniulat ko po sa inyo, they revealed that in the Philippines, COVID-19 positivity rate may increase in the coming days. Mm -hmm. Ano po ba ito? Ang grupo po Okta, they reported the positivity rate or the percentage of people who were found positive for the coronavirus among the total number of individuals tested actually had reached 20.4% as of May 3. Bago po magkaroon ng meeting at declaration ang WHO. Sabi po ni Okta fellow Dr. Guido David, we're expecting na tataas pa ang positivity rate. Baka umabot siya ng up to 25%. Hindi lang ako ang gumawa ng projections na yan. Even other experts actually foresee that. Kaya ine-expect na ang positivity rate sa ating bansa ay maaring mag-increase at even reach 25%. Now, this is not based on my projection. Sinabi po ni Dr. David, other expert also, just like what he said earlier, ay nakita rin po ito. Kaya ang Department of Health po will take a look. They will review all the issues regarding COVID-19 response so that at least, although it's declared na hindi na po ito global health crisis, ano po yung maari nating magawa sa ating bansa na maaring luwagan ang restrictions but at the same time, it keeps you and me and everyone else na travelers at kabayan safe. Sinasabi po ng DOH, they guarantee that the Filipino people, that all factors in determining the next action in line with the WHO's proclamation will be considered at they will discuss for the approval of the president. So with this mga kabayan, we're simply so excited kung ano po yung mga i-announce na panukala na bago ng ating gobyerno, ng DOH, ng IATF, at ng BOQ. And looking forward na less restrictions but still keeping us safe and protected, especially all of you who are traveling to the Philippines and traveling out the Philippines. Muli mga kabayan, if you find this video helpful and informative, please click like and I'm inviting you to subscribe to my channel. San man po tayong dako ng mundo, taas noo tayo'y mga Filipino. Muli, ako si Jamie Iris, ang inyong talk TV show host na nagsasabi. Maraming salamat, may God bless you and I'll see you in my next video. Have a pleasant flight everyone!